threat delivered with a sniper's bullet. That is just one of the startling claims from the son of controversial Brentwood religious figure Gwen Shamblin. Good evening to you, I'm Carrie Sharp. And I'm Hunter Hoagland. Michael Shamblin says his mother and her new husband were always afraid that he'd go public with his concerns about what he believes was the cult she headed which he says led him to being threatened. Michael Shamlin has been sharing that experience in an exclusive interview with News Channel 5 Chief Investigative Reporter Phil Williams. Phil, what'd you find? Well, you know, Michael Shamblin admits he was not happy when his mother, the founder of Brentwood's Remnant Fellowship, divorced his dad and married another Remnant member. Still, he says he never expected where all of that would lead. For Brentwood's Remnant Fellowship, the wedding of Gwen Shamblin was a highly orchestrated church event, an event where their prophet was not only the bride, but the star of the show. Shamblin married actor Joe Laura less than two months after she divorced her husband of almost 40 years, the result, her son says, of a not-so-discreet affair in front of her church. They would travel together, her and Joe would travel together. They started being sat next to each other at leadership, house parties, things of that nature. She was essentially committing adultery. Gwen Shamblin had fallen for the Tarzan star after he began attending services at her church. Joe Laura was seemingly out of central casting for his new remnant role. He didn't like me because I was the one guy who was not going to kiss up to him. And I didn't really like him either. I didn't trust him. I always kind of felt like he's, he's acting. Michael Shemlin says his dad, David, later confided he had discovered a secret bank account that Gwen Shemlin had used to buy gifts for Laura while she was still married to David. And David Shemlin was a, he never had an affair against her. He was not out drinking every, he, he was, he, he, he was intent to be married to her his whole life. He was a good father. I have found my calling in life, and it is to be by your side, and I will never forsake it. Still, Michael speculates his mother now, may not have had the fairy tale ending for which she had hoped. And from the day she divorced David Shamblin until the day of her death, they never had one month of peace. Her and Joe. Every month was custody fights with his ex, Natasha, or there was constant issues, constant trouble. I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. Life with God is so good. The couple began producing an online video series called Life with Gwen and Joe. Keep shining my light. And they were reportedly trying to land a deal for a reality TV show. Michael says the pair worried about him. Was, by this point, I was considered practically an enemy of Gwen. We just played the game. I was still there. Worried about what he might do. She knew for years that I was kind of a threat to, to go to the media, to do exactly what I'm doing now. He says that's when Joe, a man who was proficient with a sniper rifle, took him out behind Gwen's plantation style home. He showed me a Creedmoor sniper round and he said, this is what we're going to take you out with from 1200 yards. So just to be clear, Joe Laura showed you a sniper's bullet and said that that could be aimed at you. Yes, it's an asshole comment. And you took that as a threat? I did. They're so incredibly tasty. They're fresh, they're, they're natural, and they grow here on the property. Despite the image, Michael insists Joe wasn't a good influence on Gwen. <laughs> she started experimenting with marijuana, and I heard from people from even harder drugs. Okay, we can go to Pompano's now. <laughs> Hi, buddy. It was constant, uh, constant intoxication on trips and things like that. But did Remnant approve of drinking? Remnant didn't. Remnant didn't. The average Remnant person didn't know any of that. They would only know what they see in the worship service. Still, Michael Shamblin says there's a part of him that almost felt sorry for Joe. I could tell he was, he didn't want to be there. Um, he'd rather, that's why he was flying so much, it's an escape. 
and Laura would be at the controls when their plane crashed into Nashville's Percy Priest Lake. I think deep down, I think once he got into that position, I think he wanted out. He, he wanted a, a divorce. He wanted out of that because he had no clue how controlling and what kind of life that was going to be with Gwen. Now, Michael Champlin also revealed one of the big reasons why he came to decide that Remnant Fellowship was a cult at a time when he was actually considered to be one of its leaders. It was a secret system for keeping track of members. You'll hear what he had to say about that as our investigation continues Thursday at 6. Carrie.